Okay, welcome to my backyard again. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Kentucky. Uh, we've needed this for a while after the rain and the storms passed and everything. I am out in my backyard uh, standing in front of the massive All Powers SP039 600 watt folding array. I threw everything out today to see how much sun I could get. Uh, my Bluetti device is currently, the AC500 is currently pulling in 2,000 watts out of a total 2,600 watts connected to it. And uh, so speaking of that All Powers, they reached out to me uh, again and wanted my impressions and feedback on a new panel they have. This is the SF200. It is a 200 watt semi-flexible uh, panel. It came in this, uh, I'll show you the packaging of course, it came in this very beefy box. Uh, foam, foam covered on both sides, corner protectors, very nice. So this uh, SF200 panel here is uh, 200 watt rated, 45 watt uh, open, I'm sorry, 45 volt open circuit, I believe. So it's kind of a kind of a weird voltage. It won't work with many of my Blue Eddy power stations. Uh, the smaller ones, uh, is, the voltage is too high. They have a 28 volt input limit. But this isn't made for Blue Eddy. This is an all powers panel. This is also, uh, they advertise it as being able to be put on like uh, the roof of your camper or van, that sort of thing. It's got uh, slots on the sides here, slots on the sides. Uh, they sent it with a whole pile of uh, Velcro straps for attaching it to uh, your choice of, of ballast. It is uh, 30 inches. It's just, it's kind of big. It's uh, 30 inches wide and 54 inches tall, and it weighs nine pounds. And this is again, 200 watt rated. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do with it here. I have, uh, the sun is behind the camera. We are at pretty much solar noon here. I'm aligned that direction. So let me, uh, we're gonna have to find an angle. Got my trusty board. The sun's about 35 degrees right now, this time of year. Make sure I'm not shading from the grass and the power station that I have that this will work wonderfully with is the Blue Eddy AC180. So let me connect the MC4s here. And this is, by the way, an all-weather panel. It is uh, ETFE coated. It is uh, sealed all the way around. It is meant for permanent outdoor installation. So it is connected. The AC 180 woke up. 44 watts, 130. So again, the uh, my other array on, on today is rated 2,600 watts total of total connected panels. It's currently putting out 2,000 watts. That's like 76% or something like that. So uh, if you apply that to the 200 watt panel here, um, 150 give or take should be about what we uh, can expect out of it today. And let's see what we get. 165, 165 watts going into the AC 180. That's, that's more than the math would suggest. That's great. Um, I've got some more plans for this panel later. This, uh, this is uh, very nice. Okay, let's do a little handheld walk around here of the uh, All Powers SF200 panel. So look at this pebbled coating on it here. That is ETFE. Here's the uh, side profile, if I can line it up and focus. Maybe, there you go, you can see the sandwich there. I'll get a, get a shot of the sticker on the back. 
but uh, these are the grommets. Very, very nice looking panel. Nine pounds again. We'll just go over and look at the uh, SP039 while I'm here. I'll back out, look at this. This thing is a beast. Six hundred watts in six sections. Six one hundred watt sections. All right, and we're back. I uh, decided I wanted to try one more thing before uh, putting this all together here. Um, the flexible panel looked about the same size as the roof of my golf cart. So uh, I did something. I, uh, let me flip the camera around here. So I took the straps provided. These are their little Velcro straps here that they gave you. And I used those to affix the front of the panel to the golf cart roof. And I ran out, so I used some bungee cords to attach the back. And I gotta say, that's not too bad. Maybe if you're willing, you know, it's temporary, but if you're willing to put some holes in the roof or come up with better strapping, you could just slap that guy right on the roof of your golf cart. I've heard of people putting rigid panels on their carts, uh, taking the roof panel off completely and putting a glass panel up there. But uh, I sat it out, I put the AC-180 in the passenger seat here, and you can't see it because of the screen and refreshing things but it is currently making 97 watts off of this 200 watt panel. And uh, we are well past, as you can see from the shadows there, we are well past uh, any sort of perpendicular perpendicularity to the sun today. Um, so this isn't bad. You could uh, you can drive and charge, you can park and charge, you can have a little tailgate. Uh, with that guy on the roof, throw it on the roof of your car, throw it on the roof of your golf cart and uh, have a little mobile entertainment and uh, charging station. So that's super fun. I think I'm gonna take a tour of the neighborhood and uh, see how much juice I can absorb. All right, thanks for watching.